Okay, so in this session, we are going to look at a few exercises on the rules of probability. The first exercise here, we have an experiment where we roll two dice. Um, and we want to write down the sample space for this experiment. So we indicate the sample space with S. So the first die can um, have the outcome 1, and the second one can have the outcome 1. The first one, 1, the second one, 2. Then 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Then the first one can have a 2, and the second one a 1. 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, up until 2, 6. Then 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, up until 3, 6. And then the same 4, 1, up until 4, 6. 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 5, up until 5, 6. And then 6, 1, up until 6, 6. So we have 36 simple events that form part of the sample space S. So then question 2, write down the simple events that comprise each of the following events and then find the probabilities of these events. So event A, both dice show an odd number. So we can write down A as 1, 1 or 1, 3 or 1, 5 or 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 5 or then 5, 1, 5, 3, 5, 5. So if we count these, we have nine simple events in A. And using the classical definition of probability, all these outcomes are equally probable. So we can find the probability of A as the number of simple events that comprise A. That's 9 over the total number of simple events in S, which is 36. Then event B, the dice add up to a sum of 7. So if the first one has a 1, then the second one will have to have a 6 to add up to 7. Or if the first one has a 2, then the, the second one will have to have a 5. Or 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6, 1. And then the probability of B is equal to 6 over 36. Then event D, only the second die shows a 3. So D will be 1, 3, 2, 3, not 3, 3, but 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3. And the probability of D will then be equal to 5 over 36. Okay, then in exercise 2, a personnel manager has cross-classified the 400 employees of a firm according to their absenteeism the previous year and according to whether or not they were smokers. So that is then summarized in the cross-classification table. We define the events SM, that an employer was a smoker, and H, employer was less than 10 days absent in the past year. Now, if one of the employees is selected at random, what is the probability that the employee was a smoker? So that is the probability that the employee was a smoker. And if you look here at the table, the column for smokers add up to 112. And there are 400 in total. So that is 112 over 400, and that is 0 0.28. The second one, what is the probability that the employee was absent for 10 days and more and the employee was a smoker? So that is that the employee was absent for more than 10 days and the employee was a smoker. If we look at our table, 10 days or more and smoker is 78 over our total of 400. So that's 78 over 400. And that is equal to 0 
Number three, what is the probability that the employee was absent for 10 days or more or the employee was a smoker? So that's the probability for 10 days or more or smoker. Now we use the, um, the rule of, or the addition rule. So that's the probability of 10 days or more. That's the probability of smoker minus the probability of the intersection. Now the probability for 10 days or more is we take the total for that row, that's 106 over 400. Smoker, 112 over 400. And then minus the probability of the intersection smoker and 10 days or more. We did that in the previous one, it's 78 over 400. And that's 0 0.35. Question 4. What is the probability that the employee was absent for 10 days or more if we know that the employee was a smoker? So this one here is if we know that the employee was a smoker, what is the probability for 10 days or more? So we know we have this information that the employee was a smoker. And now we want to find the probability of being absent for 10 days or more. So that is according to the conditional probability. Okay, so that's 78 over 400 divided by the probability of a smoker is 112 over 400 and that is just equal to 78 over 112. Now you can also think of it in this way if we know that the employee was a smoker then we are actually only looking at the column for smokers and uh, we want to know what was the probability if the employee is a, was a smoker what was the probability that the um, employee was absent for 10 days or more. So that will be then 78 over 112. It's exactly the same answer. And then the last one here, are the events non-smoker and employee less than 10 days absent in the past year independent? Now to know whether they are independent, we have to find the probability of the intersection and see whether that is equal to the product of the two individual probabilities. So let's first get the probability of the intersection, um, non-smoker and less than 10 days absent. That is equal to um, 260 over 400. That's 0 0.65. Now, if we take the two, um, the product of the two individual probabilities, so that's the probability of a non-smoker times the probability of less than 10 days. Okay, and this is then equal to 0 0.529. And because this um, product of the individual probabilities is not equal to the probability of the intersection, we can say that these two events are not independent.